Thanks everyone for checking out the Shortly mobile application. And today I'm gonna to walk you through how to link an existing barcode to an item within the Sortly application. Now at this point here, um, this is the tab that you're gonna to wanna to be on. So you probably start on this initial tab here, which is the search. You're gonna to go to the tab to the left, which looks like a file cabinet. From here, I'm gonna click on the plus icon and I'm actually gonna go ahead and add an item in this case, uh, just to walk you through this example. So we'll click on the plus, we'll hit add item. I'm gonna give this item a name. Um, so I'm going to call it water as an example. I'm going to put uh, the units in that I want. I can add a min level price, all that information here. And I'm actually going to go ahead and hit save on this item. So if I pull on the drop down here, I'm going to see that this item has been refreshed in the system. Now, specifically what I want to focus on today is how you can add a QR code or barcode to this item that's already existing in the real world. So if we click on the water, you're going to see as we scroll down, we'll see the shortly ID when it was last updated. We'll see some ability to move, history, everything like that. But I want to focus on the QR code and barcode field. So you see that field there. If you click on that field here, it's going to pop open a little window for us. And it's going to ask us if we want to either create a sortly code, meaning we could create a QR code or a barcode, depending on our plan. The other option here is to link an existing code. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the link existing. Once that's highlighted, you're going to see that add button become available. And now at this point, when we hit add, it's going to pull up our phone's camera. So we're going to want to have that barcode handy. So I'm going to go ahead and click on the add button here. We'll see our camera comes up and I'm going to go to the item that I'm looking to scan, which in this case is a water bottle. And you'll see that it automatically pulls in that code. Now, the lookup product that connects to like an eBay or an Amazon uh, database. So it can sometimes pull in data for you, um, but it's not always going to be accurate. So one thing for you to note is we don't really have any control over that on our side of things. Um, however, if someone on eBay lists, uh, for example, a shoe under that same barcode, it may pull in that data. So I advise probably not using that, but it is available to you if you do want to. You can then either hit the rescan button to rescan that code, or you can hit the link to link that code to that item. So we'll go ahead and hit link here. Now we'll see that that barcode has been successfully linked. You saw a little pop-up and you also saw a little blue highlight around that code, letting us know that that code has been linked to that item. Now we're not done. At this point, we gotta go ahead and hit save. That's gonna save that code to that item. Now, if we click back into that item, we can scroll down and we'll see that there is a code there. There's also a way for us to search for this code now via the search bar or the magnifying glass here. So we can click into the magnifying glass. And if I clear the results here at the bottom right, we'll see that there's a little scanner button. So again, you're going to want to have your, your item handy. We'll click on that scanner. It's going to then pull up our uh, camera and then we can scan for that code. And in this case, it found that item right away. We can then click into the item and make adjustments to it on the fly. So that's how you're going to add or link existing QR codes or barcodes to your items. As a reminder, we support pretty much any type of code out there. So uh, you can scan your hex codes, your QR codes, your barcodes, uh, code 128, uh, one, or code 39, EAN 13. Uh, we support a plethora of different codes. Thanks so much for joining us.